What's going on, disciples? And welcome back. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back to, uh, you know, start uh, putting out content and start uh, getting back to the things that I normally like to do. I've been away for a while because I've been working on personal goals, you know, trying to attain my security plus. I was able to accomplish that last week, uh, last Friday to be exact. So I'm super proud of myself, um, but it's been a while. It's probably been at least about six months before I uh, actually did a video, you know, of like content. But I got something special for you today. Today, we're gonna be sitting there doing an unboxing of my PlayStation DualSense, Black DualSense came in the mail actually a couple days ago, but um, I'm just doing an unboxing um, today. So, been uh, trying to work on, you know, getting this uh, content um, going back and get back on my grind. And uh, early on this month, late May, I got my D-brand um, black face plates in. So, got those back, haven't put them on. We're going to do an unboxing for that too as well. So, and I got some other face plates um, that I got from uh, CMP Shells. And uh, these are the red face plates. I had these for about like a month now. I have not opened them. So like I said, it's uh, been a while since uh, I, got, I got all this new stuff and I haven't had uh, the time to actually sit there and, and, and produce content and give y'all something that I feel is worthy for my viewers. And hopefully you can, uh, if you do have a PlayStation 5, um, kind of give you an idea of like, you know, how to dress it up. Now, anybody that knows me know that uh, I, I plastic dipped my PlayStation 5 uh, face plates a while ago. I was sitting there waiting for these uh, D-brand black plates. The good thing about plastic dipping my plates was the fact that I didn't have to worry about, or per se, I didn't have to worry about, um, one, the PlayStation logo on the side. That was like the biggest thing for me. Because I had uh, the decals, and I had I ordered those. I'm trying to remember exactly where that I ordered them from. But uh, either way, the link is going to be down in the description where I ordered those um, those decals from. And they're pretty cool. It gives that uh, retro look um, for like the you know the, uh, the logo is like the original PlayStation color and stuff like that. It looks really good offset in that black. Also. I also uh, got these uh, these sticker like type shields, and of course, the link is going to be in the description below. Um, for that, you can put over top of the, the regular, normal running PlayStation lights on the PlayStation Five. So, and it gives kind of like that rainbow feel, you know, almost like an RGB status and stuff like that. Like, you know, I love RGB and stuff like that. I think it just uh, adds uh, a little flair to what you already have. But yeah, um, you know, just gonna get to it. And like I said, we're gonna start off with the uh, dual sense, black dual sense controller. Cause I, I really wanna play with this. I've been, been wanting to play it for the last couple of days. But of course I can't play it. And then finally, I got a black controller to match my black PlayStation 5. So I'm so happy about that. But let's get into it. Yeah, I'm super excited. <sighs> Good old PlayStation sales. Yeah. Good old PlayStation sales. This controller actually came pretty fast. Let me see, hit the camera. It came pretty fast. Um it, um, the controller didn't come out to the 11th, and I think I received it on Thursday. So I had to be sitting there holding this controller without using it because I wanted to put out this content first, you know, prior to, you know, actually sitting there, you know, opening and, and just getting straight to it. learned a lot of lessons for you know my unboxing of the white dual sense uh the launch stuff you know hopefully i don't tear this box up like i did that one there we go 
learned a lot of lessons with that. <laughs> I don't doubt in my mind that this uh, controller is going to be just as cool as the white dual sense because I, I like the um, the white dual sense, but you know the whole thing about it is you know the the color and it's not really white again it's like a, a really light gray, but I am truly looking forward to playing with all black controller. So just like the white one, it, it feels really nice in my hand, you know, very responsive to buttons. Actually, I think they might have improved a lot of things based off of just the configuration of how the buttons feel. The buttons feel a little bit more responsive. They definitely, like, I don't know, I had to like compare them like together, you know what I'm saying? I had to sit there and, and like hold a, a white one and a black one like together. Um, I'm not gonna sit there and do that right now, but noticeably it does feel a little bit different than the white one or the the gray one, the the light gray, the very very light gray one. Yeah, and of course, you know, got those like little indications, you know, those are little X's and little O's and little circles. Well. X and circles, triangles, and squares. You know, I always thought that was like a nice touch. You know, I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna beat it up. You know, just, uh... Yeah, but overall, it feels great. You know what I'm saying? And got the, of course, uh, the normal PlayStation handouts, you know, the... I guess you can consider these instructions and stuff like that. Nobody never reads them. But yeah, that, man, I wonder if it comes with, no, it doesn't even come with a charging cable. So, you know, um, when when you get a, a DualSense, when you buy this new DualSense, you know, whether you buy the black one or you buy the red one, I know that the, the red one is exactly like $10 more than the black one. And it's crazy, um, you know. It's like, I guess, I guess it, the red one is more expensive to produce. But me personally, I like the black one. Will I get a red one? I probably will because, you know, my mom's favorite color is red, and, and red is a pretty cool color. Pretty cool color. But yeah, so far, I like, uh, I'm really liking this new black dual sense. It just looks clean. It just. Let's see if I can, you know, if it's got like a little charger. I know it probably doesn't, but it might have a little bit. So, yeah. Yeah, the blinking indicates that it needs to pair up. But, yeah, it does have a little charge on there. It looks, it looks cool. Overall, cool. Um, one thing I would like them to do is PlayStation period. Uh, I would like them to put like a sticker or some type of paint that uh maybe like the traditional style like i don't know if they sell these buttons i know they sell stickers for them and of course you would have to just go in and open it up and apply the sticker um and that's pretty cool it's like a little sticker decal you know kind of give it that little fresh look they definitely have buttons they sell those on um online i've seen them where you, you know you can get the traditional style buttons or you know get the ones that actually light up so it all, it all depends on the configuration and and the amount of uh, um, detailing that you want to add to your controller. You know, you have the ability to do that. You know, I've seen LEDs, um, lights. I've seen different multifunction color buttons. Same thing with the D-pad. These light up. Well, everything lights up. And to include the actual... Uh, the, the toggles or the, the thumbsticks all lighting up so it's pretty cool um i love it uh i can't wait to play my first game i'm about to go charge it up real quick and um i got ratchet and clank uh, ripped apart yesterday so i'm gonna get into that i'm gonna be sitting there doing uh some streaming on my twitch youtube and also uh facebook live later on today but yeah I love it. 
Um, if you if you're gonna get like a a, a new uh, DualSense controller, I definitely recommend it. Like you can tell PlayStation kind of like stepped their game up because of maybe uh, all the different uh, factors that came into place with uh, the Joy-Con like type issue where um, you had to stick drift and you know um, the components just breaking down. But this this feels a uh, a lot more sturdy uh you know of course it feels uh just as good as the the original one but i i, I feel like maybe maybe they possibly got it um, right this time you know sony got it right and we're going to see because I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some testing with this new black controller i mean it costs enough right i already got two white ones and but I just had to add a black one. They announced it, the black one, and I'm uh, I'm gonna go back. I know I'm gonna go back and buy that red one. I already know it. So, but yeah, um, overall first impressions of it, I, I like it. I like it a lot. And um, yeah, if you're gonna get one, you know, you know, put down in the comments uh, down below, like you know, which one you're gonna get, and if you even think about it, or you just wait for them to. You know maybe come down and price on that stuff before you go ahead and you know move forward with that but if you are thinking about it, you know please uh let me know in the description like or if you got one already let me know in the description uh which one you got how you like it and you know if you are willing to if you just got one to go out and buy the other one so far like very impressed i like I, i'm definitely and i'll probably order it today to be honest with you um i went in a couple stores and i if i would have seen it in the store i would have probably definitely buy it but i think right now you don't exclusively get those uh new controllers from playstation i don't think they're current in the stores like that because i have not seen any of them in a the store but yeah buttons like very responsive yeah on to the next one so that's uh, one down, three to go. So yeah, I decided to uh, open up the red face plates first. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out. <clears throat> so these uh, these face plates, uh, they came from uh, CMP Shell. And um, of course, um, yeah, uh, they're, they make a pretty, a pretty good decent uh play i was kind of impressed by the website and also they shipped a lot sooner than the d brand plates did so i was like i wanted some red plates too to try to you know test some looks out on my playstation 5 but yeah overall you know um these came and uh, of course they come in nice patch not as nice as uh cm I mean, not as nice as D brands, but uh, CMP, they, you know, obviously they, they wanted to protect your uh, your product. So, I, like, I ordered that, and I also ordered, um, I guess, what you want to call it, like a sticker sleeve for like the, the center portion, so you can have like a whole a all red uh, PlayStation Five, and they're you know, pretty good packaging. Place place in there pretty nice um we got a little insert you know to protect the the plates from rubbing against each other they all individually wrapped in their own plastic um each plate well, let's go ahead and get this uh cardboard box out the way because obviously you know it's impeding everything set those right there yeah so wrap pretty well good protection um the plates they feel they feel like playstation plates they do they do feel like PlayStation plates they get the little hooks in there to be able to catch i haven't I don't know if I'm when I'm going to put these on, but I would be interested to see exactly how my places will look red. The only thing that like um, detracts me from wanting to do that is the fact that there isn't a logo on the side. I know, like some for some people, that's not a big uh, thing, but 
know, for me, if it had a PS logo on it, I know it's not like a, you know, licensing issues, and so you don't want to get sued. But as you can see, you know, just like the brand and just like you know PlayStation, they got little, uh, little textured, you know, um, like decals inside of the actual plate went all the way around not completely all the way around but for the most part you know <clears throat> a different look you know different look and of course uh i have the physical version so there is you know a, a disk drive slot right there for that but it feels good it feels like high quality you got a nice mold you know cmp but I would, you know, I, I definitely, like I said, I was impressed by the website. So that's why I sat there and invested into them. I bought like these plates. I ordered those plates at like the same time. Um, I ordered the D brands, I ordered the CM Punks, and I went to uh, Walmart and got me some Plasti Dip because I was just tired of looking at that gray or light white, whatever you can you know eggshell whatever you conceive that color to be but it looks great to me when you look at it head on looks like a very light gray but the quality of these plates fit very well you know and uh there's a little grip to them as well so it feels like you know if you was to put these on and stuff like that it's like a little nice, nice texture grip you don't have to worry about uh they falling out of your your hands or anything like that or you putting them on and make them sick and you know you like because it's a smooth item and you drop your playstation <laughs> that'd be like a nightmare yeah i'm gonna put these back in the plastic because i'm i want them to preserve them just in case I'm finally use them down the line. Um, I'm actually hoping that once the uh, once the um, they get more supplies in, we can possibly you know maybe uh, get another PlayStation because obviously you know I like streaming on uh, all different type of platforms and stuff like that. So if I can get another PlayStation Five. That would be awesome, you know, but not play out that, you know, out of pocket price. I'm definitely not trying to do that. But yeah, they, they, they did a really good job wrapping these up and preserving them, you know. And like my whole thing is, you know, of course, it would be that, <coughs> that, that top right side right there. You know, would normally have like the PlayStation logo on it. But even, you know, for these third party, um, um, non license, uh, like maybe y'all can compete for a license so that way PlayStation can give y'all the authorization to put, you know, at least the PS logo or maybe, you know, CMP, maybe you can put your own logo right there. Get your own logo in there or D brand, same thing. I would like to see a DB on there something like that and that way you know you kind of like personalize it but i know <clears throat> like i said it's all about the dollars and stuff like that so yeah but these are really nice plates and they weren't that expensive um i think the d baron plates was about like 60 dollars and these ones uh right here the cmp um, plates I want to say it's about $60, um, but like I said, I did get that red insert to kind of cover up. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but um, it's it's pretty much a like a sticker, like, like a sticker type um, label that you throw over top of the matte, um, the shiny black portion of it. They also have like matte black ones that they sell too to kind of give that all black feel so you got the one consistent color and D brand sells those as well um but CMP sells them too so um I'm definitely impressed love the the quality of work that they put into it but you know like I said I plastic dip mine and the plastic dips holding up holding up pretty well so 
I'm gonna run with that for a little while, but I might get bored. I might get bored and decide to put these red plates or my D-brand plates on and call it a day. Um, the thing that's uh, made it the plastic dip, the plastic dip option attractive is the fact that I didn't void the warranty with the plates. So my plates are still white underneath. It's just that they uh, got a plastic covering over top of uh, the top plates on the top of the plate. So yeah, it's black, but you know, um, even when I was applying the plastic dip, when I was putting on my um, base mount back on it, because I like to stand my uh, PlayStation in the up position or the vertical position. Um, so I had kind of a uh, scratch a piece of the plastic dip off. It's, notice it's unnoticeable, it's at the bottom. And it's like on like a bottom edge portion, but yeah. Overall, the plastic dip cost me about maybe about like two, because it, it dried, it, but you dried very fast, like really fast. Like I think I was done in like three hours, you know, and I, and I put like about five or six coats and I bought like a can, I bought two cans, but I only used like maybe a can and a half, you know, I was going to really make sure that, that it was on there. That, like, so I didn't have to worry about, you know, it peeling off or anything getting damaged. But, you know, of course, Tell me what you think, you know, uh, are you gonna get you a set of these uh, CMP uh, shells for your PlayStation 5? Like I said, they're really good quality and I'm not sponsored or anything like that. And I'm, my channel's way too small to be that, but I know a good product when I see it and this is a really good product. And I, you know, shout out to CMP. Uh, they, they did their thing. Um, these are um, really nice, really nice, uh, faceplate covers and it's red too you know so if that's something that you're looking at they have all different types of colors too they have um blue black of course and red and i want to say they do a bunch of decals too um if you want to go that route but yeah um i'll put that link in the description so if you're interested you know you can go ahead and press the link and get you a, a set order you know what i'm saying and it came pretty fast being that it was back on back order. Because I want to say I ordered those, um, the D-brand plates in February. Also with these plates all the same time. But I got these plates uh, way earlier than I got my D-brand plates. My D-brand plates, I just got those like maybe a week ago. Yeah. And these plates, you know, of course, you know. I want to say they came in, hmm, I want to say March. I know I said earlier in the video that they came like about a month ago and stuff like that, but when I want to say they came in March. They they came pretty fast, uh, maybe early April. So in the March, early April. But yeah, I don't know. So if you're gonna get a set of these, you know, just you know, hit me up in the uh, comment section. Let me know if you're gonna get a set of these. I'm like, I like I like I like them. They're pretty nice. A uh, good alternative if. Uh, you know, D-Brand is on back order. I know they still kind of on back order right now, but you know, you can get these plates and they're just as good, just as nice. And um, for roughly about the same price. And you know, the care it was given here, the care was given, you know, it, uh, the box wasn't crushed or anything when it was delivered. And as you can see, the inside of it was pretty wrapped securely, but bubble wrap. You know, pretty. <laughs> Can't help it. Gotta, gotta, gotta uh, pop them when you get a chance. But um, yeah, overall, you know, I'm very satisfied with this product. And yeah, um, yeah, I would, I would definitely uh, buy from them again if I was wanting, if I was wanting more of the colors. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll definitely see. But like I said, down in the description, you know, if you're gonna get a set, you know, let me know and know uh, what color you're gonna get. And if you uh, choose to get a D-brand um, plates, you know, if you're gonna get those, you know, let me know too as well. Cause you know, have you put them on yet? Or if you already got them, you know, comment too as well. If you already got them and you 
put them on and you love the way that he look and everything like that. I know a lot of people that got them. And, well, not a lot of people, but I got a couple of people because, first of all, you know, PlayStation 5 is very hard to come by right now. Even, like, what is it, about nine months later? It came out in November. Yeah, well, we'll say seven months because it's closer to seven months than nine months. So seven months ago, PlayStation came out. I think those plates all got released. Uh, uh, I want to say as early as November. They started started producing them maybe around December time frame. Right? But yeah, you know, if you got them and you love them and stuff like that, you know, write a little comment down on how how, you, how they working up, how they holding up and stuff. Mine just are basically sitting in the box. I got a black plastic dip and I got my uh, PlayStation decals and everything. So like, yeah, it's, I had, had a black PlayStation for a while now. But yeah, just let me know. Moving on to the next one. And for the creme de la creme. Now, D brand, it took extreme detail in making their face plays. It comes in this nice, very nice box. You know, uh, it's got the, all the little D brand logos on there. And they have these icons on the inside part of the, the actual uh, face plates. And just just the amount of detail and attention that D brand placed within um, you know these face plates is just remarkable. Um, very nice packaging, you know. When it's they, it's, you can use this box in a feature. You know what I'm saying? Like definitely, you know, it's a magnetized box like you would have on like GPUs or like, um, for instance, uh, like a reusable, you know, box, you know, like definitely can use this again to store your plates or store your, your factory PlayStation plates in there. Or if you got like another set of, uh, like aftermarket plates, but definitely D brand is like top notch, you know, like I said, they, they took, spent a lot of time, a lot of a lot of, took a lot of detail in making these products. And like I said, this is overall like, you know, I've been waiting for these plates for a while. Like I, I ordered them back in February. It was on back order. They said it was gonna be back in, in stock until May. So like in February you were ordering, you were pre-ordering or just ordering just for May. Like that's how far back they were you know what i'm saying a lot of my other you know youtubers friends is like man i ordered them i'm still waiting on them or like i like they the back the backups was like so long i didn't want to order them no more so i want them either just painting my playstation or i plastic dipped it and that's what a lot of the people i know did <sighs> they just did that so but i didn't want to avoid the the warranty on my place because I know how this is gonna go. PlayStation is infamous with this. Uh, <laughs> they always have like a mid-gen drop, you know, so they'll, they'll change like how the aesthetically how the PlayStation looks or they'll drop a pro version of the PlayStation that the, the current gen has out, they'll drop a pro version and it'd be beefier, um, more RAM, uh, faster processor, you know, certain things like that. So, <laughs> there's no point of me sitting there trying to hold on to uh, a dulled down version of the PlayStation 5. If uh, you're gonna come out with a new version, and it's not even to say that it's gonna look like the previous version or the 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 base model version. That's what I call it, the base model version. Uh, of the system so like these plates and stuff like that they might not be able to use them on a new one so I, I didn't want to avoid the warranty of course so that's why I didn't paint them with regular spray paint because of course the spray paint would have been the more permanent option but 
you know, in case if I do want to uh, pre-order the new when when you get a chance to, or if it comes out, you know, pre-order the new PlayStation 5 Pro, or if they decide to go that route, or if they have like another version where it's slightly be, but we already know that eventually they're gonna make another PlayStation 5, and it's gonna probably be a Pro version. Um, but we we don't know what it looked like. I know with uh, when they made the PlayStation, the the base model, brand new PlayStation 4, when that came out, you know, it, it looked a certain way. None of the components you could use on the PlayStation Pro version. So, you know, um, <clears throat> they had the little three tier notches on the PlayStation Pro version and on the base model PlayStation 4 that came out in 2000. Let's see, 2012. Yeah, I want to definitely say 2012. It could be, yeah, no, no, yeah, it was either 2012, 2014. I don't know. Um, I, I just came back from a deployment, and yeah, um, I remember standing in line after I pre ordered it, standing in line for um, release day. So, um, either way. No, I, I, I guess I got a fat check and actually get the time when the actual PlayStation 4 came out. I want to say uh, Madden 24 was one of the launch titles and stuff like that. So it, it probably was uh, Madden. Um, I'm sorry, not Madden 24. I'm sorry, Madden 20. So that was one of the launch titles for it. And I remember I got Call of Duty Ghost. Those were the first couple games I had at Call of Duty Ghost. Um, Madden 20. Um, and it was another game that I had, I can't, I can't think of it, you know what I'm saying, but, but definitely, yeah, launch titles and stuff like that, but yeah, let's, uh, get into it, you know, like I said, the, the box is very nice, outer packaging, you know, definitely can reuse it, and, if you sit there and like look up on the top of the dice and say you know purchase uh we knew you would and deliver it you're welcome install there's only one correct way and then they have like a you know the um, website and they have the instructions for you to be able to install the dbrand face place but it's, it's pretty simple you know um this right here looks like uh some type of i don't know some type of cloth maybe to walk wipe down wipe down your playstation you know we'll wipe the place down or something like that i don't know, kind of don't even want to open it because i'm not even ready to use these things yet if i even can open it <laughs> it's crazy I'm trying to figure out exactly they're very tight but yeah, it's some type of uh, cloth that you can sit there and you know, wipe it down, I guess, maybe. Yeah, it's got the D brand logo on it. I don't know. I'm thinking they put a blades. But I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck that back in there. Because, like I said, I'm not even ready to use these plates yet. I'm not even ready to use them yet. Get that back in there. Close it up. Alright, set that to the side. So, these plates too, you know, when uh, they got these uh, cover for the insert you know you can actually use these they're part of the install process so you, you sit your playstation down on these plates and it'll prevent you from getting scratches on the outside of it and everything like that so like i said d brand took a lot of care in trying to um you know make this a uh, package very uh very user um Friendly and also to protect the plates on there, the contents of the plates. So yeah, you just lay your stuff right on there and you install your plates. So 
you know, just first off, holding knees and stuff like that, they feel much realistic. It, it, it feels like a Sony product, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a lot more, and, I, and I'm sure you can tell by, like, looking at it. Looking at it on it, it's like exact... Exact, like, like they got... They got the mold for the plates somehow, and they made them. You know, it feels a lot more durable and heavy. You know, and it goes all the way around. And I don't know if you can see that, but these are the D brand logos, and that's like an extra attention to detail. Because you know, this is the part where if your um, stand is in the vertical, I'm um, sorry, not a vertical, horizontal position, um, you know exactly where to line those notches up for uh, when the, um, the PlayStation is sitting horizontally. And that's like a little indication right there. But they feel great. And like I said, if you look close, you know, you can make out the little Diggy Brain logos. Try to hold it still long enough. But yeah, you can start making it out like what they are and stuff like that. And that's cool too, you know, because you know, it's, it's personalization that I like. I like the personalization and the attention to detail D-Brand took, you know, to, to make these plates. You know, that's, it's like really good. And, and out the box, they feel definitely feel a lot more quality than uh, the CMP plates. You know, it's, it's not a shot at the CMP because I love those plates. But yeah, you can definitely tell that, you know, uh, these are a better quality. Yeah, I like them, I really do. Outside, it feels great, you know. I'm gonna sit that to the side. <clears throat> and like I said, you know, these plates, I'm, I'm not gonna put them on right now, but yeah, they definitely feel high quality. High quality. It's all that that detail. Like if these, I swear, if they if these had like a DB, like a D brand like logo right there, that would be dope. That would be dope. These are these are literally like, cause PlayStation still doesn't have an answer. They still haven't came up with their own license, like plates and stuff like that. And I don't know if they like got plans on sitting there, you know, trying, you know, to, you know, like, may, or maybe just don't care, you know, because they're like, oh, well, we're going to bring out a, the PlayStation 5 Pro soon. So, you know what? We're not going to even invest into it. This is gray. You're going to live with this gray. They got a lot of other people that's making money off of it, but I would... I, would, I wish PlayStation would partner with D-Brand. Just partner with them, man. Just like, you know, forget it. You know, like, all the urgency, you know, just put it to the side and stuff like that. Like, look, man. Yeah. You know, we're just going to partner with really, We slap that PS logo on there. And this is this is it. Like, they don't have to even reinvent the wheel or, you know, uh, you know, try to, uh, to start developing that type of process especially if they know they're gonna you know moving out of that direction of the that actual look of the playstation so i don't know what do y'all think what do you think disciples uh do you, are y'all do y'all have any fetish plates or did you buy any at the market face plates the the change that's the look aesthetically of your uh, PlayStation 5? If so, you know, just write in the comments down, you know, which place you bought and if uh, you liked them and was it worth it, you know? Um, me personally, I, I like these deep brand plates. I really do. And like I said, if I didn't already plastic dip my, my PlayStation plates, I'll be, I'll be putting these on immediately. You know what I'm saying? But I can wait because, like I said, they already plastic dip. So essentially, I wouldn't say it's a waste because I wanted these plates. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely not a waste, but I'm not going to use them right now per se. You know, um, <clears throat> but it's not to say I won't use it in the future though. Because, like I said, uh, 
I feel like uh, PlayStation's probably not this year, um, not next year, but the year after that, they're definitely going to drop a pro version. And it's not to say that that pro version is going to look like the current uh, PlayStation 5 configuration. I'm like, I'm, they're going to change something on it. So if they do, you know, then of course, you know, having face plates is kind of obsolete. But I think they, I think they like that that faceplate look, and I think that the PlayStation Pro would be different inside, component-wise, but not necessarily different on the outside. So I don't know. I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, definitely, definitely would like to know your thoughts on disciples. So if you don't get these deeper in place, you know, in the description below, just let me know. If you if that's something that you're interested in, or if you just hey you just like the white plates and or the light gray plates, hey stick with those too. You know, um, tell me why you opted out of getting the black plates. It, it just looks so much smoother. I, I love the way that the black plates look on a PlayStation. And they just look gangster, you know, uh, just all murdered out. I just I just I love it so. That's that's just me. That's my thoughts. So as always, you know, um, I'm gonna leave you right now. I think I taught you I hit off enough about this, but you know, um, it's good to be back. It's good to be back, disciples. Definitely is. Uh, been a while, you know, and I'm just uh, trying to get back in the groove. So. Hopefully, I'm going to be uh, producing a lot more content um, very soon. You know, I'm going to try to limit myself to at least uh, a video every two weeks. Some type of some type of content. Get it out to y'all. Um, but I'm going to say, I'm going to leave you like I always leave you. You know, if, if you're into the things that I'm into, then we have something in common. And I, I want to talk to you about it. Peace. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content.